Like many of you, we battled depression during life's ups and downs. Music has always been the one thing that we could rely on to get us through the tough times that we all face. Follow us on our journey as we discuss the healing power of music, interview bands, break down genres, review band biographies, and more. This is the When Words Fail Music Speaks Podcast with Blake Mosley and James Cox. Hey everybody, welcome back to When Words Fail Music Speaks. I think my audio is off centered, but I'll fix it maybe, I don't know. Um, it's been a while since I've um, done a video, you know, I apologize to y'all. Um, I just got released from my, my other job at the third store. I got a new job working at Outback Steakhouse, so, you know, forgive me for that. You know, a, lot, a lot of things to look forward to. But today is a very special day for me. I should have worn a shirt, but it's, I don't know if it's drying or in the dryer. My maybe washing, I don't know. Black Label Society. I bought the 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 studio LP vinyl box set. So that's a big deal for me. I really love Black Label Society. B O S for as the acronym for it. Um yeah, so uh my friend Josh and Art told me about BLS way back in the day. Um, so, you know, I mean, I love all their music, all their records. I tried to find the records, but the records were a little bit expensive on the expensive side. Well, when I saw this, I had to get it. it I guess, I think it just released. So I've already unpackaged it for you all. So you don't, you don't have to go. Here it is. It's the... Um, oh, good. okay, so it's going to be none more black. So there you go. I mean, it's a black box. You can barely see the, the embossed label, but I mean, it's Black Label Society. SDMF, Strength, Determina Determination, Merciless, Forever. And you got the um, logo with the big giant skull on it. So I'm going to remove... Yeah, this is so heavy. Yeah, that's a heavy box. So, lay this down. I, I, I think I'm gonna just leave it like this for now. Yeah, there you go. Right, okay, it's, yeah, so there's a box. Okay, so it's on backwards. So, let's turn it around because this. Is nope okay, so it's right way. I opened it about right the right way, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna take a dick take out this. So, first of all, oh, oh no, we lost the the wine and bottle rack opener. The bottle opener, I should, I, I should say, we stick that in for y'all right there. All right, so upon opening the Massive box set. Um, I, I think I put it wrong, so I don't know. I don't know if it was, I don't know if this is wrong or right, but here we go. Okay. All right. So here, when you when you get this open, it's gonna be a a patch. It says Odin's Demolition Squad right there. And there it goes, goes like, it does not win a standard. Okay, so you all, you, all, you all don't really need to see the bottle opener. It's there. It works. I'm positive. Anyway, but bottle opener for beer and whatnot, you know. So. Okay, so I'm so glad that these are, are they, that, that these are not individually wrapped. Okay. So we're going to start out with, with the first, first thing in the box, which is... Like label society on the front, you know, great determination, merciless forever. And then we have a picture book of all the cool little, um, I guess, of their whole, of their whole career, you know, um, spanning the whole um, career in BOS. I just showed you one page, but uh, yeah, but uh. You get the idea. It's a, it's a picture book, you know. So I would trade more, but you know, being handicapped, I can't really 
too much at this time for y'all, so I'm sorry. So, okay, so let me move this over here. Okay. So, oh, oh and, and on the back of it, it says, Strength, Determination, Merciless Forever. It's, it, it's uh, SDMF acronyms, what it means. So, this is the first album to your most previous album, okay? So, first album up, we have, um, yeah, so we have the Black Liberal Society Sonic Brew album. Okay, so this was the second album cover that they released. The first album cover they released was, uh, I think it was either Jameson Whiskey or some other uh, beer company. But, uh, um, I guess they had a problem with, with them being on the cover of, of Sonic Brew album. So they reverted it to their actual patch logo. And this is a patch logo, you know, and, and it's the 20th anniversary blend is what they call it. Uh, I don't, oh, oh, 599, 519. I don't know what that be, that's for, but that's okay. You know, so we're, we're here to learn, right? So upon opening this gate gatefold, you'll see a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, let's see if I can get that all, all all on the screen for you, right, right there. Okay, cool. So on this one, we have all of the songs and all of the lyrics to the songs, and then you have some images, you know, from the. On the first record, I guess, I think. So we're going to take out the records each and see if they're color. Now, I think that some are color and some are not. You know, I'm not sure, but we're going to, we're just going to see, okay? So first, Sonic Brew record is going to be a picture of, of them all. Okay, I think that's the new, new. Uh, I don't know if that's the new band or the band that would play it on. I think it's the band that played on there, yeah. No, because that's the new guy. Um, so I don't know any names. And on the back, you got a different, a, 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 a different picture, okay? So, and then when we pull out the actual record, it's going to be an awesome gray marbled uh, vinyl with the, you know, inlay right there. And then when you turn it over, it's a, it's an actual... Um, cool. Okay. So that's record one. Okay, let's see if they have a record two. Yes, they do have a record two. I should already know that by now. But, um, yeah, so, okay. So, the, I think this is a poster of all the boys. And it is... Okay, yeah, it's just poster of the of, of all the boys and they're you know don't know if you can see it right there, but it's yep, right there. Okay. So the boys are gonna need this real black wild I think that's Will Hunt, maybe. Yeah. And um I can't I can't think of the new guy's name, the um the guitarist they just got for the new record and ongoing um and then you got the the little card with the digital card that i might give away in the future so be on the lookout for that okay and then we have the second lp with a totally different um sleeve picture and on the back of it, we got a totally different sea picture. That kind of looks like the uh, one of the covers from CCR, Creating Clear Water Revival um, albums. So then we pull out this record again, and it is and it is just like the first record, but it, instead of white inlays, you've got black inlays on the back. And on here again, you know, you can pause it, see about it. So, let me clean this up just a little bit so I can 
put everything back in there nice and, you know, when I... Okay, so we got that, okay? Oh, and, um, I forgot to show you that they have the actual uh, the song layout on the back of it. I forgot to tell you that. I'm sorry. Pause it if you want to see what's on the, what's on this record. Okay, got it. Cool. Okay, so that's that. Okay, that's that's the Sonic Brew record. And then this one is going to be Stronger Than Death. One of my all-time favorite records from them. Got a Stronger Than Death, like a label such as Tidy logo right here. Black wall on the bottom. Of course, you have to have the parental advisory right here. Okay, on the back, you have the set list. Counterfeit God is one of my favorite songs. Alpha album, All for You is my absolute favorite favorite um uh, song. Uh, Thirteen Years of Grief, Super Terrorizer, uh, Ain't Like Grand, Just Killing Time. You know, Struggling to Death, Love Rain Down. Good songs, good songs, right? So when we open up this record and the gate forward, we'll see Zach Wild posing with his arms stretched out with the, uh, uh, you know, with his, oh, shit, okay, so, so those, <laughs> those are dogs on, on the bottom of them, which is cool. And then you have, of course, the, uh, the you know, who made it and everything. And then you got the, the the set song and then the lyrics. Okay, so we're gonna put it down, take out the records, and look at the what color the, the vinyl are. Now they didn't go all out on on this record because, um, hang on just a minute. This is really in the okay. So I'm not gonna take out both records now because um. It, it, the, the second LP looks like the first one, so I'm not gonna waste your time or my time with this, you know. So this record just comes in the paper sleeve, nothing important. I don't know why they they um they they did this on the on the uh, on the picture um sleeve, but this is I think oh oh yeah so this is a, a blood red vinyl, marble marble blood red vinyl. You can see the the marble vinyl, yeah, probably in here. So you have the 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 four skull inlay right there on front and back of it. So the, the second the the second LP is just like a blood red marble. Um, it probably has a different color inlay, uh, but you know you get the idea. Okay. So the next, um. Album is uh, 1919 Eternal. Okay. So we're turning it over. And this is the back of it. You'll see the set list right here. Um, you got uh, Believe for Me, Lords of the Destruction, A Battering Ram. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. So my favorite song on here is Graveyard Disciples. That's one of my um, all time favorites. Uh, they played a kick ass version on. Booze, bruised, and broken, broken bone. I want it. It's fantastic, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna open up this um, gatefold, and then basically, you know, he he paid homage to to his dad right here. I I heard that this this inlay is different from the old, original version. Okay, and then of course he got the set list right here and the and the lyrics. So we're gonna take out. The first LP record, and see what what it what it has. Um, you know, like I said before, the second LP is just like the first one, so we're not gonna dive deep in, in it. Okay, so we're gonna take this out. Okay, so we're nice. So this is like a brownish, um, black brownish vinyl. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks more brown than black. Uh, um, when you get it personally, okay. So you got the that that inlay right here, okay. And then of course you got the same one right here. 
second second record just looks like this. So that's awesome. That's that's nineteen nineteen eternal. Okay. So when I found out about Black Label Society BOS, this is my first introduction to them. Um, it's gonna be this one. The Blessed Hell Ride. Motorcycle engine label on it. Uh, Black Label Society. The Blessed Hell Ride. Perfect album. Uh, first album that I've ever heard of. Um, the back of it is pretty standard. Got your strength, determination, merciless, forever, right here. And then you have the, uh, you know, the Black, Black, Black Label Society Blessed Hell Ride. You have the sound, the, the, the soundtrack right up here. Pause it if you want to, right there, okay? So I think that this has one LP. It's not a double disc, which is fine. Um, you know, they don't all have to be double set, you know? Which I prefer one than two because I'm different, you know? I don't like more than what it has to be on it, you know? But I understand songs can be longer than some. So that's, that's the reason for um, two albums. A paper or paper sleeve, nothing important. Okay, we take out, we're taking in out. Okay, now this is awesome. This goes perfectly with the white cover. It's the, it's the black, um, it's the gray vinyl, I'm sorry. Okay, so we got, you know, the Blessed Hill Ride in lay right there. And then turning around, and you got on, you know, another, yeah, you got the, yeah, it's the same same thing, it's same inlay. So that's awesome, right? I'm so glad I picked this up because I've been looking for a BLS uh, all all of them for a good long while. Okay. So now we're really getting in the gear. Uh, you know, I mean what's the hell right is a fantastic album, but this album this but this next record is by far, you know, my my ultimate record, I think, right? So we're going to give it up. Okay, so it's like a level society mafia. Yes. Black and red record cover um, with the hand, with the bones and cross, you know, cross bones, you know. Awesome. Awesome. Fire it up. It was on rock, um, Guitar Hero 1. All time favorite song from BLS. You got the mafia skeleton man right here. Um, you have the the set list right here. I I, I call them set list. Y'all y'all might call them playlist, play play songs or whatever. But to me, there's there there's set lists. It's just the way I you know I I I don't know the quick termination for them term. Don't know terminology for them. But that's that's that set list for the actual record. Okay, so let's let's dig into this one. Open the record. Okay, so we have two gangster, um, the two mafia gangster skeletons on top, cross in the middle, and you have your songs with the lyrics on it. Okay, awesome. And then in this river, you can see the uh, the, the dime bag Daryl picture right there is very sweet of um, of us that to include him in it, you know, somehow, you know, you know, recipe dime, we miss it. Um, so, and then we pull out the first record, okay, and then we're gonna take, oh, wow, okay, so we're gonna do the paper sleeve again, you know, nothing too important on this sleeve, so we're gonna, what is that, okay, so this is, okay, so physically, this looks like a deep red, um, vinyl, sorry, it's, it's, uh, Discord popping up, okay, so, yeah, so it's deep red vinyl, um, marble inlay, you know, marble vinyl with the uh, Mafia Man inlay, uh, BLS Mafia and side A and side B. You got side C and side D on the on the uh, next album, you know. So I'm not gonna show you that because it's the same same record, you know. Just side D, side C and side D is the only different. Hangover music is next. Okay. Hangover music. 
I didn't really dig this 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 record. Um, it's a bit more softer than Hellride and Mafia, but I still but I still like some songs from that. Uh, two skeletons with the um playing on it, you know. Uh, volume six. Um, I guess that's the sixth record, which is true. So I guess they went went that route. And then on the back. Two skeletons with the actual soundtrack right here. So call that if you want to know what's on this record. Okay. And then we open up this record. And once again, okay, so this does not have the the lyrics on it, but it does have a awesome picture right there. And a picture right here. And then you have the set list, song list, and then you have the credits. Okay. So that's all we have of that one. Okay, so we're gonna take out this record. I don't know why they uh decided to um when they release this, they've always had paper sleeves instead of the picture sleeve, which was in the first record. Oh oh maybe it was the um twentieth edition. That's probably why they, they, they went all out for that one. Okay. So this record, okay, so this you have a marbled off off green uh vinyl. Okay, and you have the, the inlay with the with the cover on it you know, on both sides. So there you go. Awesome. I love the like I I, I love the marbled um you know the marble flavor to it, you know, just another heck of punch, you know. So that's gonna be good. So a few more, a few more albums ago, about uh, maybe five more records. Uh, okay, so we have Shot to Hell. Um, this record is good. Um, I have, you know, Concrete the Concrete Jungle, Black Mass Reverends, um, New Religion is, is my favorite one off of the album. Okay, so this is Blood Thinking in the Water is the very good um video. So that's the that's the Shot to Hill uh front cover. You got the back, okay, got the back of it, you know, with all the pool 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 balls, you know, nice nice little touch, you know. Because the nuns are playing pool on the front, so I guess they decided to go with the pool balls on the back. And you got your stuff, you got your solids up here, and then your strike down here, which is a good, you know, extra punch. To it, you know. So we're gonna take out this record now. This record had has one record on it. Okay, so this it's different this time because um this this has all of the lyrics credits, and it's got pictures of the you know nun and Zach Wild. Those members, and then I I really like this one because the the vinyl that is because it's orange, my favorite color ever, right? So we have the eight ball on the skull on the front and or on the back, and then the front side is this one. It's a you know it's just one record, you know nothing too big. You know, I don't want to go all out on all of them, you know, because why not, right? So, all right. So it's a lot of, lot of albums. Order of the Black. Uh, this is one of my, also one of my all-time favorite records. Um, I've been running this forever. I looked around on 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 Amazon. I went in for Christmas last year, but it was too much money. So I figured if I buy all of the vinyls, this record should come with, it, and it does, right? So, okay, so nothing big here. Just order of the black with the with the skeleton and and a cross. And you got Black Label Society down here. You got all of the songs uh, in a cross image, which is awesome. Okay, so let's open up this bad boy and see what what's what. Okay. So 
So then, it, okay, so it has two two records. It's got, of course, the um the lyrics and the set list, and then you have your band right here. Okay, so that's awesome. Okay, so let's see what the color of of this vinyl is. Once again, it's also in paper paper sleeve. So we're gonna take it out paper sleeve. And I believe that this vinyl is going to be black because it would make total sense. But it's not. It's gray. Dark gray. It's a, it's a, it's a darker gray than, than Blessed. Uh, you can barely see it. It's, uh, yeah, so there it is. There's Inlay. Okay. Same thing on the back or front, whatever. This is side, uh, side A, so it's the front, you know. So oh, that's awesome right there. I'm gonna have a good time putting the old, putting these back in the box. Almost finished. We got about three three more records. Yeah, let's see if we got three more records. Okay. So we have the catacombs of the black Vatican. Vatican by I don't know. Okay, so we got, you know, well, I mean, you all seen it because it's released in, um, 2017. I don't know. It doesn't say. I should know it is, but I don't. Oh, well. Okay, so this is the cover of it right here. Back. Back of it right here. And this is the soundtrack right down here. Pause it if you want to read the, read the, um, the soundtrack. And then as we open it again, it's gonna be uh, okay. It's a double disc, and you got the you can't really see it, but it has um all, all the songs on it and the um lyrics for it. I know it's very hard to see. That's a really really good really good cover and and inlay. It's kind of busy, you know. I wish they would do something with with the uh, with the gate. Um, you know, they could have designed the gate a little bit nicer, you know. It was kind of hard to read with all that, you know, images. So you got the inlay right here, okay, on both sides. Got your paper sleeve. And then as we open up the, the vinyl, or get out the vinyl, it's going to be... Oh, wow. Okay. So it's amazing. I don't know what color this is. It's kind of like a golden brown brass vinyl. It's 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 see through, so you can see it through in the in, in the in the light. Awesome. Okay, so you got the inlay right there, and you got the inlay right there. Awesome. I love that color. Color so good, right? Okay, so this was the most recent recent record that came out two years ago. I think it's two years ago. 2018. Yeah, so, no, four years ago now. So it's a uh, Black Label Society Grimace Hits. Okay. On the back, it's got the Reaper, the logo, the set list right here. And that's all. Oh, okay, and the, yeah, the logo, the Reaper set list, that's all. Okay. It's very good, very classic uh, um, cover for the back. Okay. Once again, you have the um, the paper inlay. I mean, the paper sleeve. Okay, if I can just get it out of here, okay. kind of like on me green, you know. So okay, so it's just right. Okay, so here it's gonna be a darker on me green, which is marbled. I love the I love the color of it, the little flavor of the touch. You got your dark army green right here. With the basic label front and back of it, so that's great. So one thing that they included in here that you can't get anywhere else is uh also uh, okay. So this okay. So we got two more albums to go. Okay. So um, Grim Misfits is not their mo most recent record that we're gonna get in that in just a minute. Okay. So this, I never heard of this, 
before. Um, this may be a new one new record for me to get into, but uh, yeah. So it's just one record. It, it's it's called Tasty Little Bastards, right? <laughs> and it's gonna be nuns uh, and roaches. I guess that's you know that's the name here. We're gonna give it. You know. And okay, so this is gonna be the back. Yeah, we got Mr. Wild right here. They're um the phones right here. The Killing Cross. Peace and Sympathy, Black Pearl, Twisted, White Christmas. Okay, so I think this is a singles record reading this because I remember White Christmas and Twisted was always going to be released as a single. So that's awesome too. So I, I, I didn't know that they released it as a, as a full record. Um, so get out the vinyl right here. Okay, you got your... Digi code card right here that I'm not going to share with you. Around. That made me like like a giveaway on my Instagram um, page um, profile. But that's one. Oh wow! So okay, so this is like a cherry or blood red um, vinyl record. Um, you have your inlay right there, boom, and then you also have up to the side the same thing. Okay. Now. This is the most recent record that came out. So, my bad. I, you know, I should have, you know, not jumped the gun on it. But this is the last record that, that's in the box. Okay, I think it's... Yeah, okay, so this is going to be the big boy. Okay, so they included Black Label Society. The song remains the same, too. Okay, so... This is released in 2020 of this year. No, last year. Today, this year, 2021, James. Right, okay. So it's going to be the, the Angel of Death, I guess, right here. And it's song remains the same, too. In the back of it, it's, it's the same same guy with the set list right here. Boom. So this is gonna be the biggest boy because it has three three um folds to unfold. Okay. So you have the the basic logo right here and Black Label Society. Uh the song remains not not the same too. Okay, and then you we open up this one and then it's gonna be uh, let's see if I can do this correctly. My handicapness. Okay. So you have the the the, the, the basic Green Reaper dude, and you have the opposite on oh. this side, which is uh the basic logo. Okay. So we're we're going to take out one of these records because, like I said before, um, it's it's the same record, different. Sides, you know, B, C, A, D, whatever we have. A, C, B, A, A, B, C, D, you know. And school is hard for me. Okay, so this is the last record. Like I said, pull out the paper sleep again. And I'll pull out the record. We'll see what the end. Oh, okay. So this is just like the Blessed Hell Ride one. It's gray, a little bit deeper gray right here. Um, You have your... Your logo dude right here, okay. And that's gonna be the same logo dude right here. So, and then you have your basic holder box with nothing on it, on both sides, you know. And and I and I, and I don't think I'm gonna put on the, uh, the the top of it because um it was so tough getting that out, but. I paid a little bit of money for it, you know. You pay for what you what you get, and it's uh, I mean, one needs this collection for a while, um, you know. In one in one purchase, I have all the records, um, as I as I would have, um, wasted, like waited forever to get uh, to get individually wrapped and packed. I got it all all in one set right here. Uh, you will pay like half the price, but I mean, I mean, for something like this, it's like a if you're an avid music lover like I am, and you love vinyl, and you love 
the band that you're buying for, get it. You know, I mean, it's totally worth it for me in the long run. Um, I'll have hours of listening in to them, you know, being rem- rem- reminiscing on the, on the past friends that took me to the concerts, uh, the past friends that aren't with me right now that introduced me to the band. Uh, but, but if you have the money and if you want to support your bands, you know, always, always buy physical stuff. Um, so this is a 30 going on, going on 36 minutes, 36 minutes. Sorry, it took me a while to, um, to unbox this, but you know, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good size box, box set. So, um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, I do have some requests. So I, 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 a, 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 an individual, a fan, sent me a message on my inbox at when words fail, music speaks at gmail.com. You can always request the, request me to to uh, review a, a song, and he did. So that's gonna be the, my next video. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna upload some interviews that we had on the podcast. Uh, you can find our podcast on on Apple Music, a- Apple Pod, Apple Podcasts, and Apple Music, I guess. Uh, we're on uh, Stitcher, Spotify, anywhere you get your your um, podcast from, but mainly on Apple Podcasts. So until next time, y'all. Um, always listen to music and and just enjoy it, you know. So until next time, see y'all. Bye.